Hi everybody, it's Scott and Joe. Say hi Joe. Hello Joe. Joey's my best friend and he's going to help me in this trick. This trick is usually done around Halloween time and you'll find out why because it's very, very mysterious. But in order to do this trick, my buddy, i got to read you something, okay? Something you're not going to really believe. This is really a story, okay? And I'm the only one that knows the ending of the story. Do you know the ending? No. Now, how could Joe know the ending? He didn't even know the story. But let me read you the story, okay? This story happened a couple of hundred years ago, and it happened around Halloween time in a small village in Europe. The people of the village noticed that people were starting to go missing. Mysteriously, they were disappearing. Nobody knew how they were disappearing, but they suspected, Joe, that it was something supernatural that was going on. Something supernatural was making these people disappear. So they brought in a paranormal investigator expert. You know what that is, right? They brought him in to solve the mystery. But for this particular trick, Joe, I want you to play the role of the paranormal investigator. Is that okay with you? It's okay. All right. The villagers told the investigator that they had six possible suspects who were causing the people to vanish. Some of the people in the town thought it was a mummy. Okay. Some of the people in the town thought it was a werewolf. Some of the people in the town thought it was a vampire. Some of the people in town thought it was an alien, like some kind of alien abduction, right? Some people in the town thought it was a ghost. And some people in the town thought it was a witch. Okay? Now, Joe, you're going to be the investigator. And using your intuition, you will be able to figure out who it was. First, you're going to have to narrow it down. Okay? I am going to spread these cards out again. Okay? We have a mummy. We have a werewolf. We have a vampire. We have an alien. We have a ghost and we have a witch. And before I ask you this next question, I'm going to tell you and the audience out there that no matter what you say, I'm going to start eliminating suspects going from my right to my left, or from the camera's left to the camera's right, before I ask you the next question. Joe, I want you to think whether something, whether it's going to be the odd number of suspects or the even number of suspects. And when you have that in your mind, let me know. Will it be the odd suspects we're eliminating or the even suspects? I have it in my mind, the even suspects. Okay, it's a free choice. You want to change your mind? No. So Joe said he wants to eliminate the even suspects. Remember I said I'm going to spread the cards and I'm going to count them from my right to my left or from the camera's left to the camera's right. So you said even, we're going to eliminate. So the mummy is number one, we're keeping him. Number two would be even, that's the werewolf. Okay, we're going to get rid of the werewolf. Okay, three would be the vampire, we're going to keep him. Four would be the alien, that's an even number, right Joe? Right. So we'll get rid of the alien. Okay, five is the ghost, that's odd, we're going to keep the ghost. And six is the witch, we're eliminating those three. We eliminated the werewolf, the alien, and the witch. Pretty fair so far, right? right? So we're left with the mummy, the vampire, and the ghost. Now I want you to use your paranormal skills and look at these three suspects and in your mind, don't tell me, but in your mind I want you to think of the suspect that you want to eliminate who didn't commit the crime. In your mind you're thinking of one of these suspects to eliminate who didn't do the crime. Tell me when you have it in your mind. I have it in my mind. I'm going to try and use my psychic ability and try and guess. I could be wrong, but I'm going to think that you're thinking of the mummy. Tell me the truth. What were you thinking of? The mummy. Th was that true? Yeah. Come on! So, I've already proven my psychic ability, so we're going to get rid of the mummy. Joe, that leaves us with only two suspects left. The vampire and the ghost. Once again, I'm going to point, I'm going to have, put the cards in your direction, and you are going to concentrate on these two cards, and in your mind, I need for you to think of which one of these two you want to get rid of, leaving the actual perpetrator of the crime. So out of these two, Joe, which one do you want to eliminate? The ghost. Are you sure? 100%. You want to change your mind in any uh, way? No. So you, in free will, 
you want to eliminate the ghost. So you have eliminated the mummy. And you notice there's nothing on the back of the mummy. You eliminated the werewolf. And you notice there's nothing on the back of the werewolf. You eliminated the alien abducting them. Okay. Nothing on the back. You eliminated the ghost. Okay. Nothing on the back. And you eliminated the witch. Nothing on the back. But you narrowed it down and you did all of the choosing to the vampire. Is that correct? You think that the vampire was the one who was guilty. Absolutely. Well, you know what? Remember I told you at the very beginning that I knew how this story ends, but you didn't? And the reason why I could say that I knew how the story would end, because the only suspect has guilty written on the back of it was the vampire. Go!